my friend, have you ever wondered why the world is changing so fast in terms of technology? Traditionally, it used to be that Apple released a new iPhone every two years. Traditionally, okay? That's their time frame. But nowadays, it seems to be that every six months, Apple will have a new high-tech device, a high-tech gadget coming out for us. A new Apple iPhone coming out. There will be a line of people standing at the in front of the Apple store, you know, they with the hype. They get hyped up with the hype, they're lining up in the morning, anxious to get their hand on a new Apple product. It's an Apple commercial product, okay? Which is obvious going to be a steady success financially. Apple with a million dollar profit We generate enormous sales in Apple's bottom line, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's get back to the main point. So why is it nowadays it takes only like half a year for Apple to release a new product? Why is it the case? Is there a logical explanation? Take a shorter time frame to put a new product in the marketplace, you know what I mean? The time frame has been cut in half. How is that possible? Here's my perception, this is my opinion. I could be wrong, but I'm sure I'm pretty right. I'm sure that I'm right. Especially with this day and age we're living in. Why is the world changing so fast? This is my personal observation, a personal realization that I'm sharing with you. Just take a moment to think about this, okay? 10 million engineers, okay, collaborating on the next Apple iPhone, the next Apple smartphone. It's much faster, it's much than just 10 people stuck in the Apple headquarters somewhere, trying to figure out, trying to work on the next Apple iPhone. You know what I mean? That's what the pace of change is happening much faster. Global collaboration is all made possible by the advancement in telecommunication, my friend. That makes perfect sense. Well, where's the proof? Here's the proof. Telecommunication. You can call anybody in the world with your smartphone in a matter of a second. You don't need to even memorize their phone number anymore. You just need to know their name, or better yet, your picture of them, just touch it. And you can dial them automatically in a matter of a minute. You can talk to someone in Hong Kong. From America to Hong Kong. There's no limitation, you know what I mean? There's no boundary limitation anymore. All this is made possible by the advancement in telecommunication. Here's the proof right here. Skype, video chat, video conference, you name it, right? The daily device prove it. Apple product would be more efficient, much faster than 10 people stuck in the Apple headquarters somewhere in Cappuccino or Silicon Valley trying to bring out the next product. You see, you see a logical explanation behind it? 10 million mind collaborating that creates synergy. But there does a pocket alone genius trying to work on a single next Apple product. 10 million engineers trying to design the next Apple iPhone will give you better result, faster result than just 10 engineers trying to craft out the next iPhone.
when the engineer around the world can access the blueprint in the cloud. So it's an ongoing process. The blueprint never sleeps, it's always ongoing. Someone, someone in the world will continue on the Apple blueprint for the next iPhone. Continuously. It's an ongoing process. It never stop, it never sleep. It's ongoing. As a result, Apple is able to release a new product into the marketplace at a much faster pace. You see a logic behind this? It's an ongoing process. The American engineer is going to sleep, okay, it's the end of the day, it's time to just go home. Let's say the world rotate, right? I mean, it's nighttime in America, and it's daytime in China. The Apple engineer is just waking up. Alright, so let's assume that Apple have an R&D department in Shanghai, China, okay? It is nighttime in America, but in the West, in the East Hemisphere, it is daytime. The sun is just rising. It's a new day in Shanghai, China. Our software engineer, scientists are just waking up to a brand new day in Shanghai. Okay? And guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna access to the cloud. They will log onto the computer, workstation, and they will access to the same blueprint that the American engineer has stopped. And they will continue on with the work. You know what I mean? It's new day in China. They will continue on with the same blueprint that the American engineer has left. They continue on with the process of the work of developing the next Apple iPhone. You see how it is an ongoing process? As a result, Apple is capable, is able to release a new iPhone to the marketplace every six months. That explains it. That's the logic. That's the reason. You see? It makes perfect sense to me. Does it make sense to you? It sure does. This is from my own thought, you know what I mean? I could be wrong, but I'm sure that I'm pretty right. This is from my own intuition, my own thought. Realization. So I'm sharing my thought with you. That makes sense to me. It makes perfect sense, right? Global collaboration. The investment telecommunication enable all the engineers and scientists around the world to collaborate on a single Apple product, or a single Apple blueprint for this product. On the GM or Intel or Microsoft project. Any company, you name it. It could be medical field as well. That explains why the pace of change happening happening so fast for us around the world. Global collaboration is all made possible by the advancement in telecommunication, my friend. That makes perfect sense. This is the power of modern day telecommunication. Isn't technology wonderful? It is truly amazing, right? Welcome to the 21st century, my friend. There's another reason why the world's changing so fast. I'll give you a moment to think about it. Are you ready? Here's the answer. Well, another factor to consider is global competition. These two forces contribute to all the rapid changes that's happening to us around the world. The objective of technology is to enrich our life and simplify it for us. The ultimate goal of technology progress is to propel human civilization into outer space and beyond. Someday we shall colonize a new planet 
on Jupiter or Mars. All of this has shown me a positive contribution to humanity. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful, productive day. The ultimate goal of technology is to enrich the quality of our lives.